here, here at the Orson Show this afternoon, but is it your job in curating the history? Is every week different? Oh, it is, but uh, I think partly it's because I've got a very laterally thinking mind. So, uh, you know, I hate to think of myself as a curator. I, I, I'm, I'm a collector of everything, and I love the idea of linkage. I think it's really important when you meet somebody in our community um, that you can talk to them and suddenly find a common ground, maybe through work or where they live, and suddenly join it all up. And then they, and they go, oh, oh, you know, I hadn't really thought about that. They tend to think in silos, I think, but I think in, in joining up situations. And do you think that people, find people don't realise the rich history that might be in a shoebox in their house or even in their mind? Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, I, I mean, we've had a situation this week where uh, uh, somebody who had thought about the, the long-term um, collection of uh, memorabilia and, he, and he's died and in his will it actually says, oh, it should come to Thurrock Museum. But bizarrely, I, I probably have people who, who'd say, oh, I just cleared out my grandparents' house. Oh, we just threw it on a skip. <gasps> I'm going, no, you know, what was in there? You know, what was their background and, and what sort of things was it? But, you know, it's too late. So I'm always trying to say that, you know, a small piece of paper, to me, can be much more valuable than uh, an oil painting. You know, social history, life as it was, is actually really important to preserve and to try and tell the story again, um, in, whether it be about Tilbury, Chadwell, Grays, they've all got their own stories. And is it a question, because Park, in some, in some minds, is sort of a construct, an administrative construct, and obviously you say it's Tilbury Town in 1912 mm. to 2012. Is it a series of different patchworks of history, an avian history, a public history, a foreign history? Yes, I mean, there are. I always work on the 16 parishes that make up Thurrock because they're the most historic administration. Not so much worried about the modern wards and, uh, and, and, and borough status, but actually uh, 16 parishes, which now equates to about 40 different communities. So there's actually each one of them has got a different reason for being there, has have had different people living there, uh, and different developments at different times. And we want to try and you know find out what, why, how, when all that happened, but again, tell people the story. And you know, they're always interested, and yet it, it amazes me that how apathetic sometimes individuals or community can be to their history, until somebody comes along and tells them, and they go, oh, I never knew that, that's fantastic. So I